Hey, welcome back. Identity governance is concerned with balancing identity security with user productivity in a way that can be justified and audited. Azure AD provides many identity protection and governance capabilities, including privileged identity management, identity protection, and terms of use statements. In this lesson, you will learn about governance in Azure AD. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure AD Identity Governance gives organizations the ability to do govern the identity lifecycle, govern access lifecycle, and secure privileged access for administrations. These actions can be completed for employees, business partners, and vendors, and across services and applications, both on-premises and in the cloud. It is intended to help organizations address these four key questions. Which users should have access to which resources? What are those users doing with that access? Are there effective organizational controls for managing access? Can auditors verify that the controls are working? This diagram shows a simplified version of the identity lifecycle. When planning the identity lifecycle management for employees, for example, many organizations model join, move, and leave processes. When an individual first joins an organization, a new digital identity is created if one isn't already available. When an individual moves between organizational boundaries, more access authorizations may need to be added or removed to their digital identity. When an individual leaves, access may need to be removed and the identity might no longer be required other than for audit purposes. Let's look into Azure AD Entitlement Management. Entitlement Management is an identity governance feature that enables organizations to manage identity and access lifecycle at scale. Entitlement Management automates access request workflows, access assignments, reviews, and expiration. So what is Azure Active Directory Access Reviews? Azure AD Access Reviews enables organization to effectively manage group membership, access to enterprise applications, and role assignment. Regular access reviews ensures that only the right people have access to the resources. Excessive access rights are a known security risk. However, when people move between teams, take on or relinquish responsibilities, access rights can be difficult to control. Access reviews are helpful when you have too many users in privileged roles such as a global administrator or when automation is impossible such as when HR data isn't in Azure Active Directory. Let's learn about Azure AD Terms of Use. Azure AD Terms of Use allow information to be presented to users before they access data or an application. Terms of Use ensures users read relevant disclaimers for legal or compliance requirements. Employees or guests can be required to accept terms of use before they access sensitive data or an application or on a recurring schedule so they are reminded of regulations or when terms of use are required in different languages. Terms of use are presented in a PDF format and terms of use can also be presented to users on mobile devices. Conditional access policies are used to require a terms of use statement being displayed and ensuring that the users have agreed to those terms before accessing an application. Admins can then view who has agreed to these terms of use and who has declined. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about privileged identity management or PIM. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.